The Daily Record has posted this article, 10 Things You Should Never Say to Someone from Scotland. So let's see what they've got to say. Number one, can you speak a bit slower? In real life, if I'm speaking to you face to face and you're struggling to understand what I'm saying, by all means ask me to speak slower. However, don't have the audacity to come into my comments and say slow down, I can't understand you because there's plenty of people out there who speak really fast and I don't tell them how to speak. You get a lot of videos with people with really strong Indian accents or really strong like New York accents and they're speaking really fast and I don't comment and tell them to change how they speak. So it is really rude to say that. However, if it's face to face and you're struggling, then I don't mind. Do you all eat deep fried Mars bars? Obviously not everybody in a country eats the same food. I hardly even know anybody who's tried a deep fried Mars bar. I've tried one and it was fine. I probably wouldn't eat another. How do you like whiskey? Good question. I absolutely detest whiskey. It is vile. When is it summer or does it ever stop raining? I don't feel like this is an offensive question because for the past few weeks I feel as if it's never stopped raining. It's pathetic. We don't accept Scottish notes. This used to annoy me so much. Anytime you went down to England they didn't take Scottish money. However, I recently learned that Scottish money actually isn't legal tender and it's not even legal tender in Scotland. So now I just get my notes changed before I go to England or use my card and it doesn't really bother me anymore. And before anybody says it says sterling on it, they have to accept it. I actually look it up, it does say that Scottish money isn't legal tender in Scotland. Number six, do you have to swear so much? Not everybody from Scotland swears a lot, I swear a lot, and if you've got a problem with that, you can fuck off. Number seven, is Scottish water really that good? Yes, Scottish water is that good. No matter where I've been in the world, and I've been to quite a few countries, the tap water it just tastes disgusting. Scottish water is actually excellent. Number eight, are your two Scotsmen under that kilt? I think it's quite obvious that you should not be asking people what underwear they're wearing. And I know so many men who refuse to wear kilts because of this. Because if they're out, and women in particular will be lifting their kilt going, oh, you're two Scotsmen, ha, 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 thinking it's hilarious. And I'm like, how would you feel if there was a group of women out and the men were pulling up the, the women's skirts being like, oh, you wear an underwear? It's literally sexual harassment. I mean, if you're just going to ask them, then I think it's quite cheeky. But if you're going to go as far as to actually lift their kilt up, like, literally, you should be arrested. Number nine, why is your national animal a unicorn? Nobody in life has ever asked me this, but if they did, I would probably give them a stupid answer, like, because we've got unicorns in Scotland. Number ten, you actually eat haggis. What I find interesting about this question is that I constantly see videos on TikTok of people trying foods from around the world. Let's just say Asian food, and if somebody's tasting it, and they say, oh, it looks disgusting, it smells disgusting, or whatever, and they make a comment on it. There's so many people who attack these videos and they say, oh, you're um, attacking this culture and you're belittling this culture. But yet it's okay for people to say this about haggis. And it's okay for people to say these things about Scottish people. It makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. Everybody's got different taste. I've tasted haggis and it's actually not even bad. It's like a spicy mince. And they don't make it the way they used to make it. So I don't really see the big deal. It's not as if we all sit round at night and have haggis, sneeps and tatties for our dinner every night. It's a bit of a ridiculous question. One thing that I hate people saying to me as a Scottish person is when they just randomly walk up to you and go, Freedom! And it's like, no. One, it's embarrassing. Two, it's predictable. It's probably got to be put in these comments now. And three, it's one of the most historically inaccurate movies of all time. So please don't do that. I've also had people say, oh, do you have phones and electricity in Scotland? And I'm like, yeah. Yep. Yep. It's not 1775. Another thing that I can't stand, and I'm not somebody who's good at geography, right? So I make mistakes all the time. But if you're in America or something and people ask where you're from and you say Scotland and they go, Scotland, England? And it's like, no, Scotland isn't England. It's part of the UK. England is a completely separate country. Another strange thing that people have said to me is, oh, do you all walk about wearing kilts and riding horses in Scotland? Serious question they're asking. 
and I think it's so strange to me because I've seen so many American movies, yet I don't think that it's like the Wild West over there. I understand that time passes and things progress. Absolutely baffles me. Another thing that I cannot stand when somebody hears that you're from Scotland and they'll say whereabouts, so I say Coat Bridge, but if anybody had to say Airdrie, Motherwell, Bells Hill or Glasgow, they'd be like, oh, Celtic or Rangers. And I detest football, right? So I'll just be like, no, I'm not interested. So if somebody says I'm not interested, that's it, let it go. But people will be like, no, if you had to choose, if you had to choose, no, if you had to choose, fuck off. I'm not interested in football. I hate football. I literally cannot stand it. So if I say I'm not interested, I mean I'm not interested. And finally, something that is quite baffling is when somebody finds out you're from Scotland and they'll be like, oh, my auntie lives in Aberdeen. Maybe you know her. Oh, my auntie lives in Inverness. Maybe you know her. And it's like, Scotland is a country. It's not a village. Not everybody who's ever been to Scotland is going to bump into me and know me. Do you know what I mean? It might not be the biggest country in the world, but it hasn't got like five houses and a pub. So no, I probably don't know your aunt.